Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Gemini, Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and uh, Gemini Rising weekly tarot reading for July uh, 22nd to July 28th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards. And uh, we are to jump straight away to the, uh, to the reading. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of uh, Gemini week, this is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. Followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Gemini needs to face and needs to overcome here, this is going to be the Magician card. <clears throat> the third one regards to the positive aspect of the week, that is going to be uh, the Nine of Swords. And then the last one, which is the guidance here from Tarot, that is going to be the uh, the hangman. And wow, I mean, guys, that is a big stop sign that uh, you will have to acknowledge and recognize throughout the week. Now, what it looks like to me here, it is that just before you make a terrible mistake, you know, you are to stop, hold your horses, stop and reassess the situation. This time around, opting to take the right decision, the right approach, you know, and in generally to avoid their consequences from what is to happen, either in regards to your career or either in regards to your relationship. So, <clears throat> before we scrutinize the reading, let's run the cards one more time. Now, the topic is going to be the Seven of Pentacles, followed by the Magician card, which stands in, in, in a, a negative position or the challenge. Then it is the positive aspect, which is the Nine of Swords. And then the last one here uh, is going to be the Hangman. That is going to be the Guidance. All right. So uh, Seven of Pentacles as a topic, it does point that this week you are going to feel that something is really, really wrong. Like something is rather off when it comes to your personal endeavors, either regarding career and either regarding relationship. But in the same time, you are as well going to recognize that time isn't squeezing you in any way. Therefore, there is no reason why you should be so rush in regards to performance or in regards to execution of your plans, which will grant you a, a time to catch up your breath, to rest and to reassess your situation. And then it is that you are going to find out what exactly is missing. You know, a big piece of the puzzle is still not defined, it's still not found, it's not where it is supposed to be. And uh, probably you're going to adopt a standpoint of waiting until that piece of the puzzle falls together, meaning that you're gonna wait for this decisive event to happen when it is supposed to happen. The accompanied card here is going to be another seven. So we're talking about a an insight. So it's going to strike you out of nowhere. You know, one day you are so optimistic and enthusiastic about that project at work and you are ready to give everything in it. And in the other day, uh, in the day after you wake up and you, oh my God, something isn't right with this thing, you know. 
So, and another card conf uh, confirming here that there is a uh, a window of opportunity for you to to do the things as they are supposed to, but right now that window haven't came yet. So, you will have to hold your horses. So now we do have a uh, formation of passive neutrals here. <clears throat> which is actually good because there is more than one way how you can manage the situation or how you can sustain that situation. Or the seven of uh, wands here points that not the time that is going to be pressing upon you to make decision or to make um, uh, to make an approach toward the situation, but the people are, are those who are going to pressure you. You know, for example, your boss is going to pressure you to deliver your decision in regards to uh, this project, or is going to pressure you to contact this client and to, to basically try to seal the deal where the deal isn't shaped enough to be sealed, all right? Or it's going to be your husband who is going to pressure you to make a... Um, an important decision for your vacation, you know, or for the real, how the relationship is going to move on forward. Now, you need to know that you don't have to be pressured or you're not obliged to, to do what the others asks you to do throughout this week. You can definitely rest your case, at least in this uh, week. Uh, <clears throat> until the time is more favorable or you do have the necessary arguments or means, you know, to do what is right. In other words, to prevail. So the next one, uh, it's uh, the challenges and that is going to be the magician. And that card really points that right now you don't have the necessary means to pull the thing off. It's just they're not there, all right? And uh, it's going to be difficult as well to stand your ground in a sense of that maintaining your personal sovereignty where the others pressing you to make a decision or to make a move. And the worst case scenario about the magician is that you have been tricked, all right? You have become a, a victim of certain circumstances. Someone is pulling strings, all right? And you appear to be a puppet in their game. You are the pawn in there. So that's why you have to stop for a second and reassess your situation because you don't want to be on the losing side. And even worse than that is to be the one who have to deal with all the consequences for, uh, from it. But additionally to it, the magician here points that it's going to be very difficult to you to speak up for yourself. And that is something that you need to overcome additionally. Uh, the accompanied card is going to be the Six of Wands. <clears throat> and um, yeah, it's, it seems that the milestone is fake, all right? I mean, this milestone, which you think that you can achieve throughout the week, is rather fake. Fake in the sense that it takes more than you are anticipating or a different means that you are anticipating to, pull, to put in. Uh, with uh, with this combo, which by the way, it is a uh, active uh, supporter. So that further feeds the magician to being the victim of the circumstances, being uh, without personal sovereignty. In other words, you are willing to, or you may find yourself willing to, let's say, sell your soul to the devil in favor to have what you want, which is not the right way how you can achieve what you want, right? There is a, a better way, there is a, a more efficient way, there is a, a more easy, not easy, but let's say cost-effective way of you doing it. And uh, that leads us to the next card, which stands for the uh, positive aspect. And uh, God, I, I'm really good, glad seeing this card here, Nine of Swords, which points to full recognition of the consequences of the actions that you are gonna that you are not gonna make throughout the week, all right? So after this week is over and you see the prospects of the next week, you're gonna be so glad that you have not rushed your performance, your decision, you know, or in generally you have not swayed in favor of what those people which are oppressing you want from you to do. And uh, the Nine of Swords, really, uh, it's about uh, standing for yourself in a sense of like confronting your fears. And in this case, I, I think that the biggest fear which you are to confront is what other things of you, all right? As uh, others are oppressing you to do something, let's say your boss, you refuse and you may think that your boss is going to have lower opinion for you after you deny, you know, their request or rather like 
you try to approach the situation in a different way. So uh, that is just for an example, guys. So yeah, the biggest fear that you're going to address is what the others are going to think of you when you actually back off a bit. The accompanied card here is going to be the nine of, uh, of wands. Active friends, it is what we do have here, and that is avoidance of disaster that we do, <laughs> that these cards are describing, a disaster which is going to be emotionally tied to you in the sense of that emotionally you're going to feel that something is off, something isn't right, and you have to, you have to catch up your breath right now, or rather like hold your breath and think about what, what you are about to do, all right? Just think about it and uh, do not do not do it recklessly that's that's the whole point of these couple of cards guys make sure that whatever the consequences of it are you are willing to face them but these cards are urging you once again not to make any hasty moves hasty decision just because you have been promised to have something from it which you really really want there is a, a better way how you can get it and that's not the way. I mean, this one here, selling your, figuratively speaking, selling your soul to the devil is not the way. It simply isn't. So yeah, it seems that you're gonna avoid pretty personal, uh, pretty personal disaster here with these couple of cards, nine of uh, swords and and uh, nine of wands. Um, uh, listen to your emotions. It is what I can say. Listen to your senses. All right. Listen to that awkward feelings that you are to have throughout the week when or when the endeavors are approaching you or where the circumstances are forming around you. Listen to your gut. That is. And uh, this leads us to the last card here, uh, Gemini, which is the hangman. That is going to be the guidance. And the hangman points that all that you need in order to avoid this disaster here or to yeah avoid being tricked you know being uh, left as a victim of the circumstances or in generally <clears throat> uh, thinking that you are going to uh, do something good and or, or or do something productive in reality you pretty much destroyed yourself or destroyed that dream of yours uh, the hangman points that, yeah, that is it. Uh, you need a different perspective. Now, this week, as a guidance card, the hangman tells us that this is going to be a week which is simultaneously a, a test and a breakthrough, all right? A breakthrough for you, detaching yourself from this oppressing times, uh, like a, uh, a breakthrough where uh, one recognizes that, you know, not every time being it's kind of like charging forward it's the right strategy for to obtaining one's goal or to reaching a specific milestone sometimes there is more clever way one to do it and you need to take your time to think of this uh, more clever method that is the breakthrough and the test is a little bit more kind of like figurative in a sense of that this is a, a test where you are going to be I'm sorry for repeating myself, where you're going to be tested how much you are, uh, do you, um, are you worthy or do you deserve this what you are going after? And by following others' lead, you definitely don't deserve it. So you have to find your own lead in regards to it. And above everything else, the hangman here points that there is always a something happens with time, you know, it lingers in the future and it waits for its time to come. And now it's not the time. For that reason, you have to kind of like hold your horses here. Ten of Swords is what we do have as a um, catalyst card formation. It is a, a passive neutrals here. And uh, pretty much what the dead card here points is that there is, this is a, a point of no return. And that's why you need to make this, uh, this step traversing the points of no return uh, according to your rules, according to your turf, you know, or um, how, how, how do you say it? Um, well, yeah, it's, it's like, Passing that point of no return, being 100% certain, 
certain you know of uh, of your personal confidence or you or being a hundred percent confident you know that you are doing it on your terms all right because afterwards there is no going back and for that reason being a follower being someone who being swayed to traverse that point um, on a conditions that are not yours all right then you will have to deal with alien circumstances which are not yours okay so that's why you gotta be smart this week, Gemini. It's uh, it's just there is too much in stake here for you to be care careless and reckless as well. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, July twenty second to July twenty eighth, two thousand and nineteen. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.